What is up everybody? Welcome back to Tank K. Taylor here and today we're going to be looking at the Astro A50s for the PC and PS4 slash PS5. As I said, we're going to be looking at the Astro A50s. I've already taken them out of the box. I didn't feel like opening the box and showing you that it comes with a headset and a base station. But if you want to take a look at the box, see if it'll focus there. Ooh, ah, now you can look at the back. Ooh, ah, look at all those stuff that we're going to go over. So this is the box. I mean, it comes in, it's nice packaging. Opens up from the side, kind of like everything kind of does nowadays. It has like the weird little fold out thingamajiggers. It's like every every box goes that way now. Uh, PSVR, everything has like a weird little, it's like a treasure chest when you pull out, but I'll give it to this for the price that these are. Um, they're expensive. Now, unfortunately, I can't compare these to their closest competitor, which would be like the Steel Series um, Arctis Pros or Arctis 7s, whatever they are. Um, I can't compare them to those. The Arctis 7s are a little bit more expensive, and especially right now in COVID era, where everything's super expensive, you can't even find them. They're out of stock on the website. Amazon, they're selling them like $400. $400. So the closest competitor at this point would be, I think, the TR40s, which is in a box back there, one of those boxes. But that was because I couldn't cancel the order and I saw these and I was like, well, I think it was like they're on prime sale or something like that. So it was a little bit more of a difference, but normally I think they're 250. These are $300, I think, usually. That's what they were on Amazon. They weren't on sale. Um, so for $50, kind of just throws up the TR40s and these, like I said, are pretty much identical. You can go on anyone's YouTube channel and, and pretty much find everyone saying it just depends on one thing, whether you want wireless, such as the A50s that are right here, wireless or wired. They both have mix amps. They both have voice game chat. Um, the one thing that you miss out on is a, the modding features of it, but we'll get into that here in a second. So I'm not an audio audiophile, so I can't go into the intricate things like the, the Hertz and everything like that. They're, they're 40 millimeter drivers inside and you can just take off these magnetic covers they pop right off and they're covered by a little cloth thing, but those are the, the drivers. They support 5.1, apparently everywhere online says 7.1, but when you look up how to set them up, like for PS5, for instance, it says they set it to um, channel 5.1 mode. So I don't know about that. They sound really good. Um, but these are the headsets. They're made out of plastic, but they feel pretty sturdy. Nice, soft, adjustable, no clicks, nothing like that. Um, this is not detachable, whereas on the T TR40, the microphone that is, is detachable and you can actually flip sides. This one, it's not, it's stuck on this side, which leads me to the next thing is these little face plates right here. So this is a closed back design. You cannot change these. The TR40, you can, you can pop these off. You can customize them. You can get custom ones made on the top and on the sides. Um, I think on the top, maybe not on the top. I know you can get custom ones made, but these are not adjustable. So this is stuck here and it's not adjustable because on this side, if it'll zoom in, you have your game and voice audio and it's just a clicker toggle. And you can sit there and adjust how much game you want to hear, how much voice chat you want to hear on the fly right there. Um, on the bottom, you can see the magnetic points for the base station as well as a USB type micro, micro USB charger, a little outdated, but I think these are the gen, these are the gen fours. And I think they came out in 2019, 2020, something like that. So it's been a little bit since they've been updated, um, physically wise anyways, but they're still really good. Like I showed you, they're magnetic. You can get a mod kit for these that I'll put somewhere right here. And you can get leather ear cups as well as a leather band on the top. But I like the cloth, the cloth is nice, nice and breathable. On the right side, you have your volume rocker. You have your adjustment for your three presets, which we'll get into when we go onto the computer. Your um, Dolby channel selector. So either, depending on what you're using, it either goes between your Dolby Atmos settings or you go back to your star, which is stereo, but also 5.1. It gets a little weird. I've seen a lot of different choices on the forum. Um, using them, they both sound pretty good when you have it set up right, so it's kind of hard to distinguish. And 
I haven't been able to get Dolby Atmos working yet, so I haven't been able to figure that out. Um, and then just your on off. The light didn't even, yeah, you can see the light came on a little bit and then off. And that's really it for the construction. So what you get in the box besides just the headset, and if I didn't mention, flip to mute, you just flip it up, it mutes the microphone. Um, but you also get the base station, that's the feature of the A50, is that the base station, it's charging. The charge time is, says 15 plus hours on it. Um, so I'm, I'm sure that varies depending on what you're doing, depending on how hard you're using it, depending on um, probably the processing, I'm assuming. Like if you have Dolby Atmos, you're using more power because it's applying more. I don't know, I'm guessing, but it's 15 plus hours, which I have not had any issues with. Um, if I get up to eat or something like that and take a break, I just throw it on my docking station, which is right next to me, and it charges and I come back and I just kind of keep going. Um, so no issues there at all. But what else you get in the box? You get the optical link cable, um, fiber optic for the PS5 version. I'm sure it comes with the Xbox version as well. And we'll go into what you need um, to add on to it. Uh, but it comes with the optical link cable, as well as the base station, which I already said, and a USB power cable, which you do have to move from the PlayStation if you're using PlayStation or plug it into your PC if you want to use PC. Um, and the charging works fantastic. It's magnetic, which we'll go over right here. It just clicks in and it starts to charge. You can pull it out, put it back in. Um, no pun intended and you're good to go. Now, looking at the base station as well, you're gonna see some icons there and we'll throw them up on screen right here. You have first your little charge connection indicator, which it'll show you your battery level of your headset, which will go up and down. I think it's four bars. It'll show you depending on the percentage, as well as the little star and the little headset icon. That's when you're changing between your, your stereo and your Dolby sound profile. And then you have your three pre presets indicators to just let you know which preset you're using. So when you set it up and you kind of memorize, okay, these are the three that I use, you know which one you're gaming with. Now, um, there's not really not much to say about these. I mean, they're, they're fantastic, but let's jump over into the computer. Let's set up the command center, and then let's go into the PS5 and let's set it up in there as well. Okay. So we are going to be going into the Astro Command Center. So let's hop into Astro Command Center. I've got it plugged in now really quick. Uh, obviously this is, this is uh, fully updated, but let me fake it real quick. So I'm faking it just by pulling off the headset so it doesn't see that it's plugged in. So it sees the base station. So if you have an update, it's gonna pop up right here, update it, you can get your patch notes, whatever it might be. It's because I don't have one plugged in, it's not seeing that it's a, the, the PS5 version, and also August 2020. That's the last time this thing was updated. Come on, Astro. So anyways, you have your patch notes. You can see, obviously, the base station's fully updated, but it's not seeing that there's a headset. So we're going to skip that. I'll plug my headset back in. And obviously, it sees the headset now, and it knows that there's a firmware still showing 0, 0.0, but if I close out of it, it'll get it. But the first section that you should get in is your EQ presets. So you have preset library that the Astros already come with in the command center. You can ch change out the, the initial three, your studio, your pro, your Astro, or you can even find online, people have been using Astros forever, the TR40s, the A40s, and the A50s. Obviously these are game specific for these ones. Um, but let's say, okay, you're on here and oh cool, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Tournament Ready EQ. So you can see the game audio, what it wants you to set in the game. You can either download the profile and load it in here by clicking add preset. And then you can have your file there. Or you can click view. And this is just one particular website. And you can see your EQ settings. Well, we obviously see that we only have five options here. But if we hit advanced, hit OK, yeah, we're adjusting it. Boom, there you have all of them. And you can just match the hertz the decibels and whatever the bandwidth adjustments are. Don't know, I'm not a audiophile, not really sure what that is, but you can sit here, you can play with each one as you go. Each one can be set up differently. You just remember what your presets are for. Once you have changed one, so let's adjust this. Cool, we can save. We don't even care about save. 
Um, that's if you want to save the profile so it doesn't clear it in case anything happens. And then you can sync to your device. Syncing device updates the base station, sets in the presets, and I'm pretty sure whether you have the Xbox PC one or the PC PS4 slash 5 one, when you sync it to the device, I'm pretty sure the base station retains that. So that same EQ setting can be applied to whatever console you're using. You just change through the, uh, the three there like I showed you on the side. Second option is your microphone. So the microphone built in and you have your different noise gates. If you hover over each one, you can see, so the lowest noise gate all the way up to tournament, um, which is obviously set up for crowd noise, talking loud, anything like that. Home is probably your average, you know, fan, um, everybody online who always has a dying um, fire alarm, that'll probably adjust it too. You can adjust your e USB mic level and then the side tone, or if you don't want the side tone at all, you kind of hear yourself a little bit in the in the headset. And you can sit here and you can adjust that, lower it. Um, sync to device, yes. Now it's syncing, and boom, it's synced. You have your stream port, which is kind of like your um, your OBS mixer or the um, Go XLR or something like that, kind of built into here. Um, but going through your headset, so your game audio, your chat audio, you can sit here and adjust it yourself your microphone, and then there's an aux port in there. You wanna to listen to music or something like that. You can sit here and adjust it. And then you have your settings, default balance, as I showed you on the side, you can you can manually set that, or you can set it in here if you want, you know, fine tuning, whatever the case is. Um, now, as we were going over the specs, remember that there's also, this supports Dolby Atmos, and that's all dependent on the star or the little Dolby sign. But when you hook it up to your computer, one, whether you're using Xbox or PS5, make sure that the optical cable is unplugged. I've noticed that if that's still plugged into your, your PlayStation or your Xbox, you're still gonna be getting audio from that and it's not going to it's not going to transfer over to where it should be. So you can go to your sound, open up my sound settings real quick and pull over my control panel. So you're gonna have two when you plug in. So my default speakers are this one, then you have your second, this is actually the second um, input or output, I guess, output for the, it's a Astro A50 voice. You don't want to use that one. You want to use it, I went right over it. The Astro A50 game, that's going to give you your Dolby. That's going to be the 5.1. This one's like a, I don't really know why there's two or what that's for. Maybe somebody knows, let me know in the comments below if you know what that's for. Um, I'm new to these. I just got them as we've gone over um, and I like them, but I'm, I'm still learning. So use these ones, make sure it's set as your default communication device. If you don't have a mic setup or anything like that, you're gonna to wanna to set this as your default input um, or your default output for your microphone. Obviously I use my headset or my uh, my Rode. So it's a little different, but make sure those are set up. And once you're good to go on those ones, you can sit here and test it and play around with it. But that's really it then. Um, I haven't been able to get it to work. So if anybody knows, I've been Googling it. You're supposed to have Dolby Atmos and I have not gotten the option to install it. In fact, when I go to Dolby Atmos, they used to give you a card with these apparently that you could get it. Now it's supposed to automatically know you're using them. But for instance, if I go and click this trailer right here, you're not experiencing Dolby Atmos, enable it today um, because it's not seeing the product there, but it's supposed to automatically do it. So if you know how to get that fixed, let me know. Let's jump over back to the real camera. Okay, so real quick, I wanted to give you a mic test of what the microphone on the Astro sounds like. And we can sit here and we can adjust different settings for it. So we can go to the microphone, USB mic level. Obviously I can turn the, increase the volume of it. I can have it default there. Um, different noise gates, so that. Let me see if I turn it to tournament. Sinking it. I don't really know if that dumbed it down at all. No idea. But let's put it back to normal. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, like I said, this is the sound quality, the side tone. I can now hear myself as we went over. Um, I don't personally like it. I guess if you have it on a little bit, I guess it wouldn't be that bad. So you can hear yourself so you're not yelling. Um, 
I'm not a big fan of it preparing myself. It throws me off a little bit. Not that it's all out of sync anyways, but I'm just not a big fan of it. But those are the settings. This is the microphone, so you can hear it from the previous stream to what this sounds like. Um, hopefully it's pretty good. I haven't heard it yet. Okay, so set the audio up on your PlayStation 5. Um, PS4 is probably going to be a little different, but this is the PS5 setting. So go to your settings, go down to sound. Your microphone should be set to the Astro A50s, and you can adjust your microphone level for it to be, uh, you know, good or bad, whatever the case is. Um, it's showing, obviously, my output's all the way up, my headset's off. Um, but you just start it, you know, adjust to whatever your liking is, and obviously just go through the normal process there. Audio output, you're gonna want to make sure it's set to USB headset, which is your Astro A50s, and then you want to go down to HD, HDMI device type, and it might be um, set to TV by default. Set it as AV amplifier down a number of channels. Make sure it's 5.1. Output to headphones, you want to set it to chat audio, not all audio. That gives you the option now to adjust your game versus your voice chat outside of using this. And then down to audio format, set it to Dolby. Now, one feature, if you're trying to stream with this, setting it to the linear option is the way to go and it'll keep the audio all the way through. Dolby will cut audio off. Um, that might be a um, caveat with my particular capture device, which is the um, HD 60 Pro, which is the original one. So it doesn't do 4K pass through or anything like that. So it might not be able to, um, what's the word for it? Um, process the, the Dolby audio, maybe only linear, but that's just one thing I switched that if I'm streaming, I'll uh, keep it on the, the linear option. If I am recording, I will put it on, or I'm sorry, if I'm just gaming, I'll put it on Dolby, it's better audio quality, but you know, it's just kind of one of those things you, uh, you toss up. The one additional feature you have to get that happened with this new generational console shift is you're gonna have to get the Astro um, HDMI audio extractor. It's the only way you're gonna be able to use these with the PS5, um, which also coincides with how you're gonna get audio off your PS5 when using the um, any sort of game capture and you're using a headset playing on the PS5 and I'm gonna make another video of how to set that up, so stay tuned for that. But you need the audio extractor for the optical link because when the PS5 came out, they decided, hey, we're not gonna put an optical uh, port in the back of the console. So it kind of rendered a ton of headsets utterly useless until at least from what I know, Astro is the first company, big company, um, headphone manufacturer company to release something like this. There's third party ones you can get on Amazon, everything like that. But Astro is the first one to actually release the box. Now, normally it's $49.99 Amazon. I just bought it brand new for $35. So I don't know if it's going down in price or not selling as many. Don't know what it is. So expect between $35 to $50 just to be able to use this headset, which will factor into um, pricing that we'll, we'll get into a little bit and depending on uh, what headset you want to get. Um, but show a video right here. Ignore my mess of wires, but I have my, I have my audio extractor mounted under. Um, one caveat with the audio extractor is that unfortunately that link, even though the you know, for instance, yeah, I'm going to talk about the PS5 because that's what I have. The PS5 can output at 120. Unfortunately, the extractor only outputs at 60. So it might be going in 120. It's only out, going out 60. So maybe you want to get a splitter before that, something like that. You can see in my little video, there's actually a splitter next to it that I had previously trying to figure out the PS5 uh, solution with audio. But that's my setup. So it goes from the PS5 to the splitter to my one of my monitors and then the other line goes to the audio extractor which the audio extractor the optical cable then goes into the base station in the back and then that one goes into my elgato capture um a lot i know so everybody that pretty much wraps up the astro a50s you know unfortunately i can't share with you the sound quality that you get from these and the price battle is going to be up to you um, do you want to spend 50 more dollars and get the Steel Series one, which comes with a you know mix amp feature as well? However, the upside, the pro to the Steel Series, is that it has a removable 
battery. There is no removable battery in this. It's, it's all uh, built in. But with the Steel Series Pro, you can pull out the battery. The, it comes with a second battery and the mix amp charges it. So it goes to die. You just pop out the battery, plug it in, throw your old battery back into it. And it's always charging. It's always ready to go. This does not have that feature. Then it just depends. You want to spend an extra $50 or right now you can't even find it. So it just depends what else you're going to do. Now you're looking at the A50 versus the TR40. Again, there's a price difference. I think it's about $50 normally unless you get, get it on sale. Do you like the option of wireless, which does come with the, the caveat that you have to charge it? Or do you want a no hassle with the same sound quality, the same sound profiles, all of that jazz with removable side plates and removable mic for $50 to $100 just depending on sales and everything like that? It's going to be up to you. Me personally, I looked at it, I'm like, crap, I really like wireless. I just like the freedom of it. You don't have to, you're not tied down to a wire or anything like that. No problem there. Let me upgrade and let me just buy the wireless ones. But as always, everybody, I appreciate you watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have the A50s or you have the Steel Series and you've been using them. Let me know the Gen 1s as well. If you have the Gen 1s, let me know what the major differences is. These are the first pair of Astros I've ever owned. And it's always been an argument, you know, Astro or Steel Series, and based on uh, supply and demand, unfortunately, I went with the Astros, but I, I actually really like them. But let me know if you've used either or you have either or you're looking to upgrade. Let me know because I would love to get some additional feedback. I've only had these for about, I don't know, 12 hours now, um, but I absolutely love them. So, hey, guys, if you like the, the video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike, but let me know what I can do to improve. Um, you know, I'm not looking to get crazy views or anything. I just enjoy YouTube. I enjoy sharing this kind of stuff with you and just sharing everything. As you notice, my my uh, YouTube channel is kind of a hodgepodge of a ton of different stuff, but it's just uh, mine and Casey's life that we're just uh, sharing with you. But we're going to start getting into streaming again. I've got my whole setup coming in. I've got some uh, products coming into place and uh, we're going to be good to go. But as always, y'all have a good day and uh, see you next time.